So we're now into July and iOS 18's public beta was released this month. And one of the biggest, most anticipated features on the updated OS's is Apple Intelligence, which is Apple's in-house on-device generative AI software. Now, I've already run through iOS 18's new features in a previous video, and a lot of the upgrades are to do with customization, small app and system enhancements, and a couple of minor new features. But the main reason to upgrade is to make use of Apple intelligence, which is going to totally revolutionize the way you interact with your iPhone. I'll be doing a hands-on iOS 18 video when its final version is released in September, so make sure to subscribe to see that when I actually drop that video. But this video is the top four features of Apple intelligence. Now, before we get into it, I wanna give a quick shout out to channel sponsor SeatGeek and let you know you can get $20 off your first ticket purchase with my code SHIFTSTUDIO at checkout. SeatGeek is a ticket website and app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets. They score each ticket from zero to 10 and color code them green or red so you know if you're getting a good or bad deal. I used them in New York and picked up some basketball tickets that were rated a 9.4 dark green. So I ended up paying about half a retail price for these awesome tickets. You can check them out using the link in the description below and remember to use code SHIFTSTUDIO to get $20 off your first purchase. Kicking off with number four, the new Image Playground. As part of Apple Intelligence, Apple has unveiled a new Image Playground feature that lets you generate AI images from scratch based on a description using natural language processing. And it can even base it on a person from your photos library. It lets you create original images using a range of concepts like themes, costumes, accessories, and places, and choose from three styles, animation, illustration, or sketch. And how this was developed is really interesting. Apple apparently worked with digital artists and asked them to create images in these three different styles. And these images were then used to train Apple intelligence so that it could generate images with a similar look. Previews are created on device and your generative images are accessible in messages, pages, freeform, and even a dedicated image playground app. Apple also released Genmoji, which lets you create custom emojis by just typing out a description, which means you'll always have the right emoji to match your current situation or describe how you're feeling. You can even create a Genmoji of family and friends by just picking a photo of them and it will be in the same style as the current emojis. I think that's quite a nice personal feature. Moving on to number three, the new Notes app. And this is where things get really powerful. You see, Notes has come a long way since initial release, but iPad OS 18 takes the Notes app to a whole new level with the introduction of new handwriting tools and math notes. When using your Apple Pencil, SmartScript makes handwritten notes editable and easy to read, all while maintaining the look and feel of your personal handwriting. It lets you write quickly without sacrificing legibility by smoothing and straightening handwritten text in real time. And it makes editing handwritten text just as simple as editing typed text. You can easily add space, scratch out a sentence, or even paste typed text in your own handwriting. And the paragraph will automatically reflow to fit the new content. Apple also introduced ImageWand, which can help transform rough sketches in your Notes app into AI-generated images. Or even more impressively, you can select an empty space in your note and Apple Intelligence can create a new image for you from scratch using context from what you've written, which is so powerful and great for students. Now, it's no secret that iPad users have been waiting for a native calculator app since the release of the iPad. And Apple always used to say that when they did bring a calculator to the iPad, they wanted it to be something special, something really different. And they've succeeded. Not only have they added a calculator app, but they've also introduced math notes, an incredibly powerful way of working out mathematical equations. It lets you type or write out mathematical expressions and see them instantly solved in your own handwriting. You can assign values to different variables and as you update these different values, the answer of your equation will update automatically as well. It's also got a new graphing feature, so you can write or type an equation and insert a graph of that equation in one tap, or even add multiple equations on the same graph to see how they relate. I wish I had this at school. Now onto the second best feature of Apple Intelligence, writing tools. Apple Intelligence has the ability to rewrite, proofread, and summarize text nearly anywhere you write in iOS 18, including mail, notes, pages, and even third-party apps. 
so you're not just restricted to the Apple stock apps. That means it can rewrite your emails in three different tones, proofread and summarize lecture notes, and help you find the right words when composing a message. So this is going to totally replace those instances where you specially ask ChatGPT to reword something for you, and you can pretty much wave goodbye to your Grammarly app because all these features are now inbuilt in your Apple devices. I can see this being such a powerful feature for so many different people, so this is a great addition to iOS 18. And finally, perhaps the biggest and best update of Apple intelligence comes to Siri. Siri leverages Apple intelligence to improve performance, accuracy, and what the voice assistant can actually do. Siri will now be able to understand more natural language so you can actually make mistakes when speaking to it. And because it now understands personal context, you can speak to it like an actual person rather than a robot. It will now be able to answer questions about your texts, your emails, photos, videos, schedule, and more which is something no other AI system is capable of doing with the same degree of privacy. I can request it to send the email that I drafted earlier to Tim and Craig, and because Siri now understands context, it knows which email I'm talking about and which app it's in. Or I can tell Siri to edit a picture and add it to a specific note. And because it works across different apps now, it will be able to do that for me. It honestly looks so powerful. Siri's got a new design, you can now type to Siri when you don't want to speak out loud. It's got on-screen awareness. And as I just mentioned, it's able to take action in and across apps, which makes it so much more useful than it ever has been before. One of the most frustrating features of Siri is when you ask it a question and it just shows you multiple links from online that you then have to click and search through to get your answer. With the new update, for any questions you have for Siri that it can't answer, Apple's paired up with ChatGPT so that you can always get a response to your questions within iOS 18, instead of having to access different apps or search for an answer online. This is even more powerful when you realize it's not just text you can send to ChatGPT, but also questions about photos or documents. So you can take a picture of your garden and ask Siri, what plants would look good here? And ChatGPT will give you a list of plants that you can add to decorate your garden. And ChatGPT is also integrated with writing tools, so you can create and illustrate original content from scratch by just typing out a description of what you want. It honestly looks incredibly capable, but there is one overarching thing that is more important than all of these features, and that is privacy. During Apple's keynote, privacy was spoken about a lot because Apple recognized that users are increasingly concerned about how their data is being used and if it's being shared with third parties without their consent. Apple intelligence is designed to protect your privacy at every step. It's integrated into the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac through on-device processing. So it's aware of your personal information without collecting your personal information, which means that you don't have to worry about your data being stored or used anywhere except your device. In fact, even when Siri wants to send ChatGPT your information or media, it will prompt you to confirm that you're okay for your information to be shared. So you're always in control of what information is being shared. Apple seems to really have thought of everything. So to summarize, Apple intelligence will add AI features across the iOS platform, increasing app capabilities by introducing image generation, a new notes experience, writing tools, and a smarter, more capable Siri. And because it's built into the core of your device and works through on-device processing, it does all of this while keeping all your information totally private. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and let me know your favorite Apple intelligence features in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.